What's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Crunch Time with Caitlin. On this episode, I'll be talking briefly about the Cleveland Indians and a few concerns I still have about the team. Um, also, I just recorded a podcast with Diane Painesville, so if you want to check that out, the video will be somewhere on this channel. Um, but also check that out, subscribe to the channel, you know, give the video a thumbs up, and um, all that fun stuff. What about the Indians? Quickly, um, they obviously won today, nine to two, and they avoided getting swept by the Twins. And and I guess I mean that's obviously a good thing, but they've struggled against the Twins. But that's I mean baseball is odd like that. Um, but quickly, I wanted to talk about a few concerns I still have. One of which is the bullpen still. Um, Yes, Andrew Miller and Cody Allen and Brian Shaw, they kind of have the the 7th, 8th, and ninth inning, you know, like, that. that's what it's going to be. But I'm still a little hesitant about guys like Zach McAllister, um, whatever rookie we have in there, whether it's it's Sean Armstrong or, or Austin Adams, um, whether it's someone like Kyle Crocker, whether it's... You know, Jeff Manship, um, Dan Otero, he, it seems like he is going to be one of our top war guys with Miller, Allen, and Shaw, but at the same point, I think the series against the Twins, it showed a few things. Number one, if the Indian starters can't go particularly well, you can't, they can't trust Zach McAllister, they can't trust Kyle Crockett to stop the bleeding, you know, it, it seems like if you ask them, hey, can you give us an inning, can you make sure the lead stays, or the, the deficit stays at, at three or four, um, you can't really count on them to, to keep it the same, um, which is why I, I did kind of hope we got another bullpen arm, um, I guess potentially we could still get one, uh, during the waiver trades and all that, um, there was speculation that uh, Mike Clevenger was going to go to the bullpen, but because of the Danny Salazar um, injury, uh, elbow fatigue, whatever, Clevenger has to go back into the starting rotation. So maybe Clevenger goes back to the bullpen. I, I don't really know yet. But again, bullpen is still a bit of a concern and catcher. Catchers is extremely concerning because you have Roberto Perez, who I don't even think is hitting 100. Um, Chris Jimenez is hitting 200. The thing with, at least with Jimenez, is he can put down a bunt. He has occasional power. And, I mean, he'll he'll try and grind out at bats. But with, with Roberto Perez, it's just like, okay, he walks. Yes, that's good. Yes, it gives us base runners, but at the same point, you know, when when you need to get a base hit to continue a rally, it's not happening with him. And it's not like Roberto Perez. Yes, he's a good defender. He's probably just as good as Gomes, but offensively, he, he doesn't give you anything spectacular which is why the catching spot is extremely concerning. You, you could deal with Jimenez because, yeah, like I just said, he put down a bunt. He could do all those things. But he also got to Trevor Bauer, which is extremely important because that's exactly what, what we've been waiting for for the past what, three years since we traded for him. Um, so, that's, so that's the thing. With catcher, I, I think... There's still a chance they could make a deal. Um, Maybe someone like Kurt Suzuki. uh, uh, Carlos Ruiz from the Phillies. Um, But, I mean, that's about it catching-wise. You can't really count on Jan Gomes to come back to, you know, you can't even count on him to come back to what he was. Because the simple fact of he's not expected back until the end of 
August, beginning of September. And that's when the minor league games, you know, season ends. And because of that, his rehab assignments are going to be at the major league level. And if the Indians are still playing like this, they're, they're three games out of, or three game, they have a three game lead over the Tigers um, in first place. Or they're in first place. You get what I'm saying. But you can't really waste games with Jan Gomes catching if he, you know, if he doesn't make it back to have an actual rehab assignment. Um, so that, basically that's what I just wanted to say. I just wanted to talk about, you know, a few concerns I still have with the Indians. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to have a post-trading deadline podcast with, uh, with Pat and Shaker. Um, it'll probably some, it'll probably be sometime this weekend, but it will be sometime in the near future. Also, like I said, subscribe to the channel, check out, um, the podcast I just did with Donnie and Painesville, check out the podcast I did with, uh, Paul Duncan, um, just a lot of more interesting things on this channel. I'm going to start doing things more consistently and all that fun stuff. Also, follow me on Twitter, either at CaitlinNoCLE or Crunch Time with K. The Crunch Time with K is the official Crunch Time with Caitlin Twitter account. So, and in case I get banned from my actual Twitter. So please follow me on both of them. Um, subscribe, to the cha- subscribe to the channel, like, comment, whatever. But thank you for listening and go try. Like your boy from Compton said, you know this dick ain't free. I got girls that I should've made pay for it. Got girls that I should've made wait.